All right, guys, welcome back to Saltwater Fishing University. We're going to try to do a little trout fishing today. And uh, the bite's been pretty good the last couple of days. It's Monday afternoon, and we're going to give it a shot to see if we can get a few in the afternoon. It's been a real good class of fish, 19 to 23 inches, and they've been hungry. So let's go give them a try. All right, guys and girls, we're here close to where we're going to attempt to catch some speckled trout. First mistake that a lot of people make when they're approaching where they think the trout are or where they're laying or where they want to fish is coming in too fast and too loud. It's key that you slow down and before you get to what there you want to target and ease on in. If you don't have a trolling motor, just idle on in real easy. And another important thing is to be respectful to other fishermen. General rule of thumb when you're speckled trout fishing, you don't want to be able to touch lures. Like you should be double your casting distance from another boat. It's just general practice and being respectful to other fishermen. So uh, we're going to ease on in here, see what happens, see if we can't get a bite. All right, we're here, we snuck in. We're getting ready to cast a few times. Today, we're gonna to be using a mirror lure. Um, it's a heavy dine, and the color is Mardi Gras. Uh, it's just one that works for me. These fish seem to like it. Um, it's a sinking twitch bait, um, two treble hooks, and you really wanna be careful because those treble hooks are super sharp. I've gotten a lot in my fingers over the years. And just our trout rod, it is a 2500 Spin Fisher 6, which I love these reels, and a custom trout rod from Killer Bee Customs. So let's give it a shot, see what happens. General technique for trying to catch these fish is you cast out as far as you can. And it's always a good idea to let your braid get wet in the beginning, because first cast, you know, your braid's good and dry. And um, so we're holding the, the rod the same way we've talked about in previous videos. Um, I like my, you know, my pinky finger to be right there on that side and my index finger to be right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a twitch, twitch, reel motion, which I'm gonna twitch, twitch, and then I'm gonna reel up the slack. Twitch, reel up the slack. Twitch, twitch, reel up the slack. And we're just gonna do that the whole time and hopefully we get a bite. We're right, so you the camera down. You got one? Got one on. Oh, Mardi Gras got him. See what I mean about the treble hooks? Super, super sharp. And it's a good idea to use a pair of pliers to get these out. But that right there is one of the most beautiful fish in the bay, as far as I'm concerned. Let's measure this guy out. Uh, he's rated 17 inches. It's a nice fish, but it's a male fish. Got two teeth in the front. That's a telltale sign that it's a male fish. And you also can hear him croaking. So we're gonna let him go. Hopefully we're gonna catch a lot more this afternoon, so. Oh, lizard fish. Look at her teeth on that thing. That's a fat one. He's 20 inch fish. Fat and beautiful.
right, we got our one man limit of Virginia speckled trout. And, uh, and that's a nice fish there. Probably three pounds. Now it's time to do the work. We're ready to clean them up and fry some fish for dinner. All right, so we got all of our fish cleaned up. In a nice Ziploc. Make a good meal. It's one of my favorite things to do is speckled trout fish because it's it's not just go out and you know throw a line over and wait. You really have to work to catch these fish, and um, you know it takes a lot of dedication and and just effort, you know, to catch them. It's not like throwing a bottom rig out and just waiting. So uh, make sure you subscribe.